guys. Um, this is an old cemetery that I keep, I try to, I try to keep up, uh, try to mow it several times throughout the year. This, this cemetery has uh, some of my ancestors buried in it. Um, got a great, great grandfather and grandmother here. I've got a great, great, great grandmother and grandfather here. And as you can see, a lot of these tombstones uh, are in need of serious repair. Let's see them down through here. and then this large part put back up. And they all need cleaned. And uh, I'm gonna try to do better this year, try to get down here and get some of these repaired and straightened up. I've not weed eaten yet, so I'm going to, this is my first mowing of the year, so I'm going to round up as much as I can. Uh, here's a rather large one over here that needs repaired. I want to need your guys' help, help rather, uh, in trying to repair some of these. Uh, a lot of you guys on here are really good at this, and uh, the best way to do it, I have cleaned a few. Uh, that do look a lot better. Uh, for instance, this is my great, great. Last year, you can hardly even see the lettering on it, so it looks pretty good. Uh, could be cleaned a little better, I guess, but as you can see, a lot of these, it'd be nice to be able to just come down here and spray them all and scrub them a little bit. And I'm sure anything would help. This, this cemetery is up on a hill here in Tennessee, and as you can see, there's not a single house around it. It's, it's located all by itself and uh, used to be an old church located at the end of these steps here and my great 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 grandfather that I just showed you his tombstone he was the, the preacher here Reverend Wiley B. Snell was his name and uh, those brush piles I've got to get those burned this year though that one was a large tree when you came down through here that's where it came from and then there was another big one right here these right here and these here there's two gigantic maple trees and I guess you just came between these trees and walked up the steps into the church uh, my grandfather back in the probably around the early 70s, was bringing, bringing my oldest brother and a few other cousins down here. And they said that when they got here, nobody had touched this cemetery in many, many, many years. And they spent two summers down here with old chainsaws and everything, getting it cleaned up. I can't begin to imagine. that The church had fallen in and uh, they had finished tearing it down, taking all the old square nails out of it. It was very old. A lot of, and then I started coming down here with my, my dad and uncles once a year, and now it's just me, so I try to come down here. I live about, I don't know, 45 minutes from here, so I come down two or three times a year and try to keep it mowed, take a little better care of it than we had in the past. When you'd get here, the first, we'd wait till the first, uh, I think it's the third week of May. And by then it had grown up so bad that we'd have to bush hog this hole. And then we'd eat it and everything else. And it's just me now, so I, I, I try to come down here and stay ahead of it. Now this is my great-great-grandfather, Benjamin Franklin Reed. And again, his tombstone was so bad last year you couldn't really tell. But you can see how much better that looks. And this is my great-great-grandmother. 
So, yeah, it's a lot of history in this this old cemetery. And, uh, this guy here was, I think he was a cousin to my great great grandmother. He was in Company F, Fifth Tennessee Cavalry, USA. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of history here. These old iron fences. Again, I've not weed eated yet, so I've got to spray some Roundup and wait a couple of weeks, and then I'll come down and, and weed eat and, and burn these brush piles this year. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share the cemetery that I'm keeping up. So, have a great day, guys. Thank you.